Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be building a barn in Minecraft. Now, before this video starts, I'm going to need you guys to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before this video starts, I also want to thank you guys so much for, um... 29 subscribers. I made a TikTok account and started posting some tutorials on there, and I've just been getting, uh, I got four subscribers in the last three days, so I want to thank you guys so much for that, and, uh, yeah, so these are the materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need some oak logs, oak planks, oak slabs, stone brick slabs, oak fences, oak fence gate, oak trap doors, and some red terracotta. Now you're gonna start off with your oak logs, and you're gonna go seven up from one area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're gonna go 15 blocks over, and then on the 16th block, you're gonna place another log. This is the 15th block, and I'm gonna place one here. And I'm gonna do the same thing and go seven up. Next up, you're gonna wanna go from, you're gonna count out uh, 13 blocks and then place one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then you're gonna go same thing up seven. And then you're gonna finish it off by going to the same corner and you're gonna be connecting up to make it a square. Now that the pillars are done, we could start putting our red terracotta cotta in and we're gonna be going three out and you're gonna be going all the way up to the top you're gonna be doing it on this side this side and these two sides as well Now we can go back to our oak logs and go four up. And then we're gonna cross over all the way to the other red terracotta. And we're gonna be bringing this up by four two. We're gonna be doing the same thing on the other side. Now at the top, we could fill it in with red terracotta. Now on the other sides, we're gonna be skipping three and then placing one. Now we're gonna be doing this to the other side like this, and there should be three blocks in between each space. Now we're gonna rise this all the way up to the top with the, the to make it flush with the others. Do the same thing on the other side. Now on the bottom layer of all these, we are going to be placing red terracotta, like so. On the second layer, we are going to be placing fences as windows. Now, you have two options here. Um, you could either place red terracotta all the way up, um, or you could do wooden planks all the way up. I prefer the red terracotta just because it looks better, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna finish up uh, putting all this red terracotta down, and you could also do the same with wooden planks if you want. Now another thing you might want to do is make the fences too high. You don't have to do this, but I think it personally looks good. Um, this is what the ones look like. I don't think it looks that great. Um, another thing if you want to do is replace the edges with wooden planks. Sometimes that just looks better. Um, or something that you could also do is use oak logs. I think that kind of looks good. Um, I think I might stick to the wooden planks though. Because the wooden planks just go uh, good with the oak logs. Now that we have all the walls done, we can start working on the pens. Now this, you're just going to come out four blocks of fences. And then you're going to do this all where the oak logs are. And then in between, you're just going to place some fence gates just as like this. And you're going to do the same for both sides. Now it's time to do the roof. 
Now you're gonna go want to go one block up on each corner of the build, just like so. And then you're gonna cross beam with cr uh, the logs being horizontally, and you're gonna follow it all the way across the build. Now again, you're gonna place two blocks up on the corners, just like so, and you're gonna fill everything in with fences. Now for the roof, you're gonna wanna take your oak wood slabs, and you're gonna place one on the corner like this, and then you're gonna go three out, half a block lower, and then you're gonna come on the, this side, and you're gonna place two, just like that, and then you're gonna take your wood blocks, and you're gonna place three of them like this, and then you're gonna place some fences here, and you're gonna place two slabs on top. Then you're just gonna repeat the process over on the other side, just like this, and it should be three out. Then you're gonna come three forward from that, and on these, you're just gonna do the top ones for slabs. You are going to be extending this to the other side. Now with the roof being done, we are almost done with the barn. If you want a storage room, simply remove one of these pens, replace two of the fences with oak blocks, and grab some ladders and go up five blocks with them. Now from here, you place slabs coming out to the logs. Now you come underneath and place fences, and as you can see, the fence is not touching the slab, so we just put a slab there to make it even. Now if you want to do a change, you could place the edges with some stone brick. And it just looks a bit fancier. Now, place fences along the edges like this. And there you have your storage room. Now, if you go on the outside, we're going to be placing trap doors all around the edges of the corners of the logs. Now, that is it for the construction. And we will time to be moving on to the decorations. Now, you'll need some chains, lanterns, oak leaves, a shovel, a hoe, and some seeds. Now on the outside here, we will be tilling the ground for a little bit of garden. Now you might need to place down some water to make the seeds grow fully, but we will be doing this on all the sides. Now some more decoration you could do on the side is take some oak leaves and kind of spread it around the house as if they were vines creeping all over your barn and you cannot keep them maintained. And then you could add a little bush as if it started in one spot. Now, if you walk inside, you're probably thinking like, oh, it's re really dark. So basically, you're going to place two chains here, skip two blocks, place two more chains, skip two blocks, place two more chains, and so on. Now, at the end, you're going to have a one block space here just because the barn is 15 blocks long and is not perfectly even with the number two. But basically, you're just going to want to bring these chains down as many blocks as you want i'm gonna do six more so in total the chains would be seven blocks then you're gonna place some lanterns at the end just like this and you're gonna be doing this with every single chain now if you want more lanterns you're gonna skip this row of slabs and you're gonna go to the next and you're gonna follow the chains down as the same length as this one and you're gonna place a lantern and you're gonna be doing it evenly like with the other chains you will be doing the same thing on the other side Except if you have the storage area, you're going to need to go down two chains because you're going to need some head height so the lanterns don't hit your face. Next up, you're going to take your oak slabs out and you're going to place one in the center of each pen. Then you're going to be placing a lantern just to give the animals some light. The last thing you want to do for your barn is just give it some pathways so you don't need to go crazy. Um, I'm just going to add some pathways with my shovel. Um, just to give it some more detail, and then, uh, that's pretty much it for the build. So now that we got the pathways all in, you don't need to have them perfect. They don't need to be perfectly all path, gr path blocks. Um, you can just do them, uh, random, like I did. Um, now that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did like this tutorial on how to build the barn, then give this video a like and subscribe. We are doing very good on the subscribers I have... We're so close to hitting 30, and I'm really happy about that, so you can, you can hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell to never miss any other videos I upload on my channel. Um, I'm going to start doing more tutorials, and I hope you guys like them. You could always comment saying if you like them, or if you still want me to do the Let's Play. But that's going to be it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!